Hmm. That's it. I've got it. The IG replicator in the laboratory. It's an immugoblian replication uh, machine. What? If I told you you had a nice blank. It can copy immugoblian antibodies. Luna just said Excelvior is made from antibodies. That means we can make more Excelvior. Hold on a moment. There is a strange device in the laboratory that says IG replicator on it. Clover and I examined it thoroughly when we were in that room. Yeah. We never could figure out what it did, though. Exactly. My question is, how do you know about it, Sigma? I saw it when I was in the lab. When was that? Probably when you were looking for Alice, right? No, Dio was wrong. I hadn't gone to the laboratory when I was looking for Alice. I didn't think I'd ever been to the laboratory. So how did I know about the IG replicator? Because this game's awesome. It has that cool little true. thing. Then we should be able to duplicate the Excelivir. That would mean we could cure Alice and Quark. Hmm. Let's go have a look then. The laboratory, right? Yeah, no time to waste. We all nodded. Wait, we can't leave them all here alone. Luna, do you think you could stay behind and look after him? Oh, of course. I'd be happy to. All right, let's go. Actually, I think she should be the one to come, like, get the thing to work. I guess Kay could stay behind and watch them closely, but... If anybody knows anything about the stuff that we looked at in the laboratory, it's probably Luna. Just saying. Just saying. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Because I'm saying. Saying. Sigma's laboratory. So this is the lab, huh? This makes me think that there is no way not to get the secret one, the secret um, password. Because it looks like you had to have all four of the things in there anyway. Yes. Where's this IG replicator thing? Because we got it when we put the yellow one in there. Right here. See? So this can copy the Excelivir? I think so. What are we waiting for? Uh, calm down, alright? <laughs> Don't rush me. I carefully lowered the small vial of Excelivir into the slot on the side of the machine. An empty vial already protruded from the other side. You can get the escape before the secret without the yellow one. Oh, okay. We just did the yellow one first somehow. Ready? When I push this button, it should. It. Just press the damn thing. Right. And pressed. Did it work? Have a look. The empty vial has something in it now. And the vial Sigma used remains as it was. It does not seem to have lost any of its contents. So, it worked? Would have been pretty bad if it hadn't. Alright, let's get this thing back to the infirmary. I reached down and pulled both vials from the machine, intending to slip them deftly into my pocket. Boss. What happened? Sorry, my hand slipped. You dropped one of them? Yeah, just one, what though. What in the hell? What if you'd broken it, you idiot? Come on! If it had broken, then we could have just made another copy. Before 10 minutes could arrive, Fi spoke. Uh, guys? I was surprised to hear a voice coming from near my feet. I looked down to see you're staring intently at something beneath the table. You see? It did break! No, the vial's fine. See? She held it in one hand, but her eyes... her she didn't move her eyes. Then what the heck is going on down there? Take a look. She slipped back on the table quickly and silently. Oh, is this a bomb? It's a bomb. Whoa. Really? That makes two, then. Guess Kay was right after all. 
So there were more bombs. So it would seem. Was this here when you guys came through the first time? No, it was not. Yeah, I didn't see anything, and I looked real hard. Then somebody must have said it while we were looking for Alice. Who the hell would do that? We were all looking for Alice, could have been any of us. No, not any of us. I was back in the infirmary. Quark was still out, so I was keeping an eye on him. So we shouldn't consider you a suspect. Is that right? Yeah. Quark's off the list, too. But Tenmyoji, you have no proof that you spent the entire time in the infirmary, do you? What? You could have quietly made your way to the laboratory, planted the bomb. That's insane! It's Listen a possibility! Yourself. There's no way in hell I'd have left Quark all by himself to go plant a goddamn bomb! Tenmyoji was still staring furiously at Kay when Clover spoke up. Hey, what's this thing? I turned in time to see her grab something from under the table. It looks like a... Ooh. Memory card. Where was it? Um, right under the bomb. Hmm. It was down on the floor under the table. Could it have been put here by the same person who set the bomb? There was nothing like it here when we examined this room. Do you think they dropped it accidentally? Unless it was left here intentionally, yes. I imagine so. What do you think's on it? Let's take a look. Could I see it for a minute? Yeah, I guess. I plucked the card out of her hand and looked around the room. Nothing. It's gonna go in the infirmary thing. Come on. Shoot, no dice. We we'll need to plug in something that can read memory cards, but I don't see anything here. So what do we do? Come on, if I knew it, I'd be doing it. Ten minutes remain until Ambedet all if no vote. Uh, guys, I think maybe we should get back to the top floor. Yeah, you're right. We've got what we came here for. Um, what should we do about the, uh, bomb? Not much we can do except leave it here. Alice said it'd be dangerous to touch them. True, but... Drop it. We can talk about the bombs later. Right now we need to take care of Alice and Quark. Right. So we'll go back to the infirmary, give them the accelerator, then head to the A4A warehouse. Right. Make sure you clean your needles. This ought to do it. It might take a little while, but they should recover. Her voice was quiet as she backed away from Alice and Quark. In her hand was the injection gun. She carefully removed the empty vial and placed it gently in the cabinet with the other one. While we were in the laboratory, Luna had moved Quark to a crude cot. They both looked peaceful as they slept. The madness I'd seen in their faces before was completely gone. Are they really going to be all right? Yes. The analysis I did on the files confirmed that the duplicate was real Excelivir. The original was genuine too, of course. Nice. Now that they've been treated... It's only a matter of time before the virus is eliminated. I believe so, yes. Woo! Oh man, what a relief. I was really worried. Clover grinned. That's a pretty big grin. I gave her a reassuring pat on the back. Five minutes rem All right, everybody. We can be relieved later. Right now we need to get to the AB rooms and fast. Damn. Don't even have time to catch our breath. Come on, let's go. 4A warehouse is waiting. Who are we up against? It's been a while since we went on this branch, so I'm not, I don't even remember. We're actually just literally right there. It's not that far. Jeez, it's like a minute away. And that's if the doors take forever to wait, get up. Oh, and if anyone is wondering, I did do my 20, 20, and 20. 20 push-ups, 20 sit-ups, 20 squats. It hurts. Ah, uh, he stayed back in the infirmary. I am so out of shape. Why? Well, when we were all heading out, I noticed he wasn't doing anything. Who is this? Oh, Temyoji. So I asked him if he was coming with us, and this is what I got. <sighs> I'm still worried about Quark and Alice. I think I'll stick around and make sure they're okay. I see. 
That means that Phi's only opponent will be Dio. One-on-one, -on -one, huh? Ugh. That's cool. Nothing to worry about. I plan to choose ally. You know why? Because I've only got one BP. Exactly. If you chose ally and I betrayed you, your BP would drop below zero and... Well, we know what happens then. Yeah, but you killed us. Win, but I'm not that desperate. You see what I'm saying, right? Don't agree. Tenmyoji and Dio are a pair. Tenmyoji only had one BP left. Since Dio said he's going to pick an ally, Fi can't really pick anything else. Oh, if she does, dang. Tenmyoji will um, yeah, die. That's pretty much it. <laughs> Kay and I are going to be going one on one too, right? Since Quark's still sleeping. That is correct. How many BP do you guys have? I've got six. As do I. <laughs> this will be a tough one then. If one of them can get the other to ally and then betray that person, the betrayer will have nine points. Look, Kay, I know you don't really have any reason to trust me, but. I know. You would like us both to vote ally, yes? Yeah. I agree. If we were to both betray, then we would gain no points. We would lose nothing either, but that's hardly relevant. If both of us cooperate, then we will both gain two points, which is much more beneficial. Right. Okay, good. You're unless, really gonna do unless it, Unless right? Alice gave yes. her that order on this one. Promise? Promise. Hmm. One minute remains until I mean he did knock out Alice closes. in the other one. Shit, this is bad. Mm. We need to move now. Indeed. Shall we? DOK Fi and Clover all took off immediately, heading to different A B rooms. Counting from the left, Dio went into the room three, K went into room four, and Fi and Clover went into rooms five and six. F Luna and myself. What do you think about taking the one on the far left? Sounds good. With that settled, we head to the AB room. Sweep. Seven minutes in heaven with Luna. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna try and not look at the uh, flow chart. <laughs> This time. Seconds. Um, it's probably a little late to say this, but you know Alice is still in the infirmary, so. You're saying we should pick Ally, right? Since Alice is going to be default to that yes. anyway. I know it's not really fair to betray someone who isn't voting this time. Luna's face broke into a warm, happy smile. Not to be sappy, but it was like a ray of sunshine on a cloudy day. Oh gosh, you did this betrayer. Like next time we have to betray. No. No. Ten seconds remain until Ambidex game polling close. Nine, I mean, some of the worst eight, parts of this game is when seven, Luna's upset with us. Six, five, four, three, oh. two, one. Round two of the Ambidex game. Has been completed. Result. Thank Ambidex. That's so great. Thank you, computer. Thank you, announcer. Appreciate you. Luna and I stepped out of the AB room. All right, let's go have a look at the results. Okay. Results from round two of the Ambidex game will please stop. Boom, 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 boom. Wait. How did Alice hit... I thought Alice was... Alice was supposed to be out. And what's funny is Clover and Kay both hit, both hit Betray when they both said they were going to hit Ally. Wait. 
Wow. Because <laughs> Alice and Cork are both in the infirmary, we thought. So how did Alice get back here? What? She she shouldn't even be here. Been assigned or subtracted accordingly. Please check your bracelet to see your updated bracelet points. What? What? It wasn't possible. I blinked, rubbed my eyes, and looked again. That. How can Alice have voted betray? It was a question I would never know the answer to. There was a sharp, quick pain in my wrist, barely even noticeable. I couldn't feel anything flowing in my veins, but I knew it was there. Wow! Wow! When I tried to think, I felt my mind had been stuffed with cotton. Yeah. Sigma! Sigma! Hang on! Oh no! Sigma! Get up! Sigma! Sigma! No! Dio caring about us, and I don't care about what you Why? My eyelid felt like they were made of lead, but I forced them open. Everything was growing blurry, but I noticed the door of the second AB room was open. No one had gone into the room. I, I'd watched them all. And yet, there she stood, an apparition that couldn't possibly be real. Alice? The world was gradually growing bla going black, and my mouth refused to form words, but my head echoed with questions. How? Why? What was she doing there? Had, had she run in the last moment after Luna and I entered our room? But even if she had, why choose Betray? Then the darkness closed over my mind as well, and my questions were gone forever. How the flip did she do that? And that's just a game over. That's not a to be continued. That's just done. Ooh. Here, I thought I was getting all my things. All my ducks in a row. I want to look at that flow chart. Give me that flow chart. Yeah, that's just an end. What? I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. Yeah, I like to move it. Wit, happy Tuesday. Wow. That is that is cool messed up. And they they don't even mention that again, Clover and K are both like, yes, we should both choose ally. Of course, it makes the most amount of sense. Betray. How did you know? Well, I've died a few times. Why? What happened to... It's not fair to betray someone who isn't voting. I thought... There was nothing I could think of to say, even though I didn't really understand why I picked betray instead, and it almost felt unconscious, like some other part of my mind was making the decision. Yeah, what if Alice doesn't vote this time? Perhaps I've been possessed by some sort of evil spirit that had moved my fingers to the betray button against my will. Right, well, we should go look at the results. We already know what they are. It's just simple math. The look in her eyes was more painful than any punch I'd ever taken. I turned away and almost ran toward the projector. Anything to get away from those eyes. I actually hope Alice was here again. Results from round two of the Ambidex game will now be displayed. Please dive... Where's the Alice portrait, huh, game? Yep, both hit betray. Both hit betray. Hit betray. Everybody voting betray. Everybody don't trust nobody. Whew. Yeah, hope we get. Well, we got to open this one up because we got the the duplicator. Have been assigned or subtracted. Were you here for that part, Wit? Were you lurking? Please check your bracelet to see your update. We got to duplicate the Accelivere. What? It wasn't possible. I blinked, rubbed my eyes, and looked again. How can Alice's vote be betray? That's not possible. 
See, as crappy as that picture looks, I would have loved to have something like that that had clover on the opposite side of the depressurization like room. So I wasn't hang like looking at the same freaking puzzle for like 20 minutes. Just saying. She was standing inside the second room from the left. The room that should have been empty. My mind was still reeling. Where did she come from? As I was trying to form a sentence, she began to move toward us. From around me, I heard a chorus of muted gasps. It seemed we were united in our surprise and confusion. Alice drew to a stop in front of me and glanced up at the display. Thought you'd get an easy couple points, huh? Not so easy when you have to look your victim in the eye, is it? Coward. Me a coward? You got some balls saying that to me after you picked Betray. Why are you even here? You gave me the antivirus, didn't you? Tenmyoji told me. Thank you. I mean that from the bottom of my heart, honestly. But you should still be under the effects of the anesthetic. Yes, well, I still am. A bit. I have a throbbing headache, and I can barely stand. It's horrible. I'm more resistant to anesthetics than most people. A result of my training. I have a feeling Zero Senior knew that. They gave me way more than the standard dose of that gas when they kidnapped me. In any event, a few minutes ago I woke up in the infirmary. Tenmyoji explained what was going on and I got here as fast as I could. So you showed up right there, we'd gone into the AB room? Yes. Right in the nick of time, too. About ten seconds before the deadline, as I recall. Hmm. You did that just so you could betray us? Right. What? Don't I get to do that? I mean, it turned out to be the right thing to do, didn't it? You two chose Betray. If I'd stayed back there, I'd have lost two points. So you're saying it was self-defense? Yes. You're full of BS. Self-defense, my butt. You chose Betray because you wanted out. She does have six points. You had six. If I'd pick Ally, you would have had nine. That's why you were trying to do, right? So what if I was? Are you serious? You would have killed me. No, Siri, no, that's not... That's not what I was saying, Siri. Look, I only have one BP. You were this close to murdering me. Just admit it. You were planning to kill me so you could escape. Don't be stupid. I knew you'd choose Betray. There was... Tell the truth. That is the truth. Why am I the only one getting the third degree here? Look at those results. Two other people just tried to kill someone. It's true. Dio. Well, Dio and Fi, they both knew they were going to betray. Um, but Quark and Clover, I guess. Well, that was kind of... It's mainly Dio. Yes. If Dio had chosen ally, Fi would have killed Tenmyoji. And if she'd chosen ally, Dio would have killed her. I don't want to be rude, but it looks like Clover and Kay tried to trick one another. Not that it seems to have worked. Nope. If either one had chosen ally, the other one would have 9 BP right now. Yep. I turned to look at the results again. Before, I'd only been looking at my own. I hadn't realized that there was only one word all across the roster. Betray. Whatever trust we'd managed to build had fallen apart. Everyone was suspicious of everyone else. Had it been the bombs? Or had it been something else? Whatever there was a reason, if we kept up, if it kept up, we'd never managed to escape. We'd be trapped in a cycle of zero point rounds for the rest of our lives. Something had to be done. I closed my eyes and took a deep breath. All right, guys, pay attention. We probably already figured this out, but we can't keep going like this. If we don't start being a little more trusting, we'll never get, we're never going to get out of here. We need to get work together. Might as well have been talking to a wall. My apologies, Sigma, but I need to think on something for a bit. I would appreciate being left alone. Okay. I'll be leaving too. Okay. Things are getting a little too intense here. No, for you my can leave. I don't care about you. You can constitution. You can leave. Sorry. Wasn't talking to you anyway. Just let's go. Well, in that case. Hit two. Yeah. Sorry. 
omelette du fromage. Without another word, she turned and left the warehouse. Steel and Quay quickly followed suit. See? There's your answer. In the end, everyone's just thinking about themselves. So I would appreciate it if you could not treat me like I'm the only villain here. You are Come one on. of the villains. Let's go. Hold on! I'm coming! Are you feeling okay? I was really worried, you know? I watched them walk away, Clover practically jumping with delight to have Alice back. Before long, they reached the yellow door and disappeared beyond it. Hmm. This branch is going to be interesting. Oh, Luna's still here. Everyone's gone. You aren't going to leave too? No. Are you sure? I chose Betray. No, but I still believe in you, Sigma. I think your hand must have just slipped or something. Right? My chest hurt. And when I blinked, I felt something hot and wet prick the corners of my eyes. Luna, I... I bit my lip. Before I could think of anything to say, the metallic rumble of the doors closing echoed through the warehouse. Oof. The Ambidex Gates. <sighs> I can't wait till I can find a wound like that. Even if I screw up on accident. I wouldn't do it on purpose. Round but, three ooh, of trust. the Ambidex I'd give it all back. Will be the star round. Star round. Star yep. The no limit. That's great. As many times as we want, yes, huh? As long as we have the star keys, that means we can keep playing the AB game over and over too. Um, Sigma, could you show me your bracelet? Do you remember what Zero Junior said? As soon as the gates close, your colors get all shuffled up automatically. Air solo assignments hop around a bit too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember. Let's see here. One cyan pair. Who are you? I'm a magenta pair. Cool. I wonder what the others are. They could be anything, I suppose. We won't know until we have a look. Oh, we've got about boop, boop, 80 minutes. So, what should we do? Everyone else has gone off on their own. Yeah. Physically and emotionally. I really don't like how this is going. It won't matter how many times we repeat the AB game if nobody trusts anybody else. We'll never be able to get out of here. Maybe it would help if we all had a common goal. Something to unite our hearts and minds. But we've already got something like that. We all want to get out of here. That seems like a pretty clear goal to me, but everybody else, everybody chose Betray. Including me. Well, what if we have an enemy? An enemy? Yes. A common foe. Like the person who set the bombs, for instance. Okay. After coming back from the lab, I told her about the bomb while she gave Alice and Quirk the Excelivar deer. Hmm, that might work. If we can figure out which one of us planted the bombs, then everyone else could work against them. Right. But how do we figure out who it is? Do you have any clues? Blues, clues, blues, clues. Oh yeah, we have that one. The memory card. Put it in my pocket and held it out toward her. Now, Dio was with us there, actually, when we found this. I figured he'd try and get it back. What's this? It's a memory card. It was under the bomb when we found it in the lab. I think whoever set the bomb dropped really? it. Maybe. Um, I don't know what's on it, though. We, could find, uh, we couldn't find any kind of memory card reader. Oh, I guess we can't really use it, then. Oh, wait a second. You know what? I think I might have seen something... Yes, I remember. The infirmary. Yay, infirmary! I saw it when I was searching the infirmary with Dio and Quark. There was a memory card just like that one. Then... Yes. I think we can see what's on it. Let's see it what's on sure it. There should be able to read it. 